Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 5, chapter 2, computer, more in word. Already in first chapter, we saw about uh, Microsoft Word, uh, inserting tables, selecting number of rows and columns, inserting new rows and columns, merging the cells, all these we saw in the first unit. This is unit 2, we are going to see uh, more about word. So minimum level of learning from this chapter would be students should be able to create a timetable of their class in word and they can also be uh, able to create a greeting card. So in this unit we will be seeing how to select a paragraph, moving, copying, page layout, menu, margin setting, orientation, paper size. All these we will be seeing. First let us see what is a paragraph. A paragraph in word is any text that ends with a hand, hard written. You can insert a hard written anytime by pressing the enter key. Page formatting lets you control the appearance. See here you can see the paragraph. I am going to select one paragraph here and show you how to select a, uh, how to, uh, select a paragraph from here. So let me go to MS Word. See this is a paragraph. Now let us see how to move a paragraph text. See when you select you can text. I am going to copy this. So if I use copy the same text will be there and you can use a copied version of the text in some other place. Suppose if I use control x that is cut. The original text will not be there. This is the difference between cut and copy for a uh, cut the shortcut is control x for a uh, copy the shortcut is control c for uh, paste it is control v next we'll see different uh, options and different uh, uh, how to uh, select by using keyboard so if you want to select one character to the right you have to press shift right arrow if you want to select the entire document then you have to press ctrl a one character to the left meaning you have to press shift left arrow a word from its beginning to its end you have to press ctrl shift right arrow a word from its end to its beginning then you have to press ctrl shift left arrow a line from its beginning to its end you have to press from a uh, press home and then press shift plus end Similarly, there are given uh, many more uh, keyboard options. You can uh, read this and uh, know which are the keyboards will, uh, will give which functions you have to know. So next we will see how to move a text. We already saw that cut, copy, paste. The short form for cut is Ctrl X. For paste it is Ctrl V. For copy it is Ctrl C. See this is Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl X. Next we will see about page layout menu. Page layout is the term used to describe how each page of your document will appear when it is printed. So we will see how this page layout menu works. Page layout is nothing but what you uh, see when uh, you print a document. So in the third option you can see page layout, you can see the themes that you want. So whichever theme you want you can ch uh, change the theme and colors of the theme also you can change and there are fonts, there are effects. Then you can also see the margin, normal margin, uh, narrow, all these options are available. Then you can click the orientation, portrait or landscape, whichever orientation you want, you can change. Then comes the size, uh, You want, if you want to choose A4, A5, A3, you can choose. Then comes the column, you can choose one column or two column, three column, whichever you want, you can choose. Breaks, line numbers. Then here you can see the watermark option. If you want, you can uh, use this watermark option. If you want to custom your watermark, then that also we can do. Suppose, uh, suppose for example, uh, no wa text watermark, you can uh, give text watermark. 
CASAP. If you want to change the text, I'm going to give study time here. So this becomes study time here. That is also possible. Page color, you can change the page color. Whatever color you want, you can change. Page borders, you can give this box or 3D custom. Whichever you want, you can choose. Then um, in, indent, left indent, light, uh, right indent. The space from the margin, you can change. Then spacing between the paragraph, that also can be changed. Next comes the text wrapping. Suppose if you have a picture here, uh, I'm going to insert a picture here. Picture, study time, I'm going to insert. If I want to change the styles of this, I can change. Text wrapping meaning is where you want to have the text, either in square, tight, behind text, in front of the text. If there is any text in the picture that you can, uh, that you can change. So this is what about all about this chapter. More about MS Word. So in this chapter we saw about paragraph, uh, mainly page layout and this text wrapping. So these are the main uh, thing that you have to know from this chapter. Uh, for this chapter, the activity for this chapter, the assignment for this chapter is uh, you can create your own class timetable uh, using this MS Word and also you can create a greeting card using page borders and other options. So this uh, chapter is easy chapter. We'll see in the next chapter. Thanks for watching.